Hi, my name is Greg Pallia. I'm with West Roofing Systems and welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Roofing. So say today you're curious about spray foam and you have a question, you're wondering, is a spray foam that's used for spray foam roofing the same spray foam that's used for interior wall insulation? Today we're gonna to break down four points here uh, very shortly. So point number one, the difference between spray foam roofing and spray foam insulation is the weight of the spray foam that's used. So we'll do uh, roofing here and insulation here. Spray foam for roofing uses three pound foam and interior uses two pound or half pound foam. And really the difference is the density of the product. Three pounds is a lot more denser than two or the half pound. Number two is are they open or closed cell spray foam? So in spray foam roofing, we use closed cell. We use closed cell spray foam because of its water, not enhancing properties, but it keeps water out of your roof. Open cell kind of lets water come in and go through it. In interior, some of it, because they use two pound foam and half pound foam, two pound is closed and half pound is open, open cell. And really the difference is how they create their R value. So closed cell, uh, it traps the gases inside, which creates the heat, doesn't let the heat go through an open cell. It traps air to create its R value. So a little bit of difference there. The third thing is cost. Spray foam roofing is about four to seven dollars per square foot. And insulation is about three dollars per square foot. And really the reason is three pound foam requires more product to make the same type of size there. And during a roofing project, we have to do two layers of coating, granules, to protect it from UV rays. You know, obviously when you're spraying foam uh, on an insulation interior, there is no UV rays that you need to guard the spray foam from. So that's it. And then the fourth thing is applica applicator errors. I'm not going to get into all of them today, but each have their own separate versions there. You can't spray foam over wet. There's temperature restrictions. There's certainly stuff with spraying foam on interior going multiple passes over. Uh, so please check out the blog post for more information. Just wanted to kind of highlight the four differences real quick here today. In the description, there's the URL to the full blog post, so check that out. And uh, thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.